Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our video and today we are going to see how we can install Sencha CMD and how we can configure to our project and how we can use its SDK. So entire installation of CMD we are going to see and mostly we will uh, we'll see about what is the basic detail about C uh, Sencha EXT. So it is an extended JavaScript framework and product of Sencha. It provides a rich UI for uh, web applications. It mostly supports all latest version of browsers and uh, it follows MVC architecture and the major thing is like it uh, it provides an inbuilt component like views trees charts and drawing that you can inherit in your project and in your and you can use uh, in those things in your projects now you can see it provides a free trial version of by now and free trial for 30 days and now we can see it has a different like examples that you can go through on sencha sites it provides a different different packages that uh, samples that you can go through and uh, for the, your reference how it has been created now it is a basic example of dashboard that you can see it has been created in ext.js and ext.js and this profiles and this everything that is that is a looking cool so cool and uh, the same thing you can develop in sencha that is a sample dashboard demo that has been they have given in, as example that you can go and also this panel this looks so beautiful that has been created in sencha ext and again i, I can go uh, we can go to the next things again this this one this dashboard again this is looking so cool this is like some kind of charts and uh, this is uh, like a summary and this is the uh, login page that you can see so all these things look so so beautiful <laughs> that we have that we can develop in sencha ext i will be installing sencha commerce ext cmd so this is the site and then from where you can you can download i'll share this link in my description video description that you can go through and you can download basically i'm going to do this installation in ubuntu so i'm i'm going to this install this this linux 64 bit and this is all again it provides free trial version and buy now if you know uh, for free trial it is mostly for 30 days so i'm going for this 64 bit and i'm installing this uh, i'll share my that link into the description uh, and that, that you don't have to worry from where you have to get so simply you will get it into the link you have to just click on this 64 bit and you will just get your get your files uh, get your uh, get your uh, uh, rip package so here you can see uh, i have already this package is downloaded so i have just extracted it so it is like i uh, this this zip file is there so i have just extracted this from here to here and, and now i am uh, now i am closing this so i'll be now just i am just uh, down installing it sencha cmd so i just i'm just installing it by typing sencha and then again i'm just clicking hitting enter and then installing this so it will be popping some window uh, this message you don't have to worry and this is next uh, you have to just click on next and you have to just follow all this command uh, i'll not be installing it because i have already installed it you have to just click on next next and you don't have to worry you don't have to do any kind of setting you have to just click on as as it is directing you have to just go click on next next it will be installed now this is ext.js and uh, it will be like sdks that you have to uh, that you also need and most of the time people used to get stuck how from where I, t I can get this sdk and you don't get any part on the internet anything so I, 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 I'll share this link with you in the video description. You don't need to be worried. You'll get easily. And uh, this is now I'm downloading this SDK again. This SDK is I already have downloaded. So uh, I'll sh I just shared with you. So this is a, this will be downloaded in zip form. You have to just extract it. So you don't again you don't need to worry. Uh, now both these things are ready with us and we have installed since cmd and sdk that both needs are required just to create our project now we'll be opening the terminal and uh, just now we'll be and now we'll be configuring our project now we are ready to uh, configure our project through the sencha cmd commands so for that uh, i have launched this terminals and i'm just going i'm just going through <coughs> i'm just uh, uh just for looking that yeah just for uh, from where it is the directory this is the uh, project demo where i am supposed to be created it is a sample uh, demo it was i initially created i'm just renaming it to the demo project just assume i'm renaming it to demo project and this will be our project that will be uh, that will be going to develop so i just uh, just uh, creating a folder or renaming a folder you can again create a folder with a demo name and this is the folder where we will be extracting sdk and we'll be creating our project so now i am uh, configuring our sencha framework 
SDK framework, development framework. So Sencha, you have to write Sencha SDK, then you have to write a, uh, you have to write your uh, SDK path. So you by typing and downloads and extj, then you have to write generate. Uh, by writing generate and then you have to type app you have to just give your app and then just you can specify what you want to give so that uh, as i have mentioned demo as i write demo so you have to just write demo and then you have to give the the direct folder from where uh, where you have to create a project so i am just specifying desktop demo and there everything will be copied as sdk required uh, required thing packages will be copying to that folder and the development framework will be set so once you click on this uh, once you click on this uh, uh, this uh, type command so everything will be in, uh, get synchronized and everything will be the de required development framework will be copied to that your project so it will be it will set um, it, it will take some time you don't have to worry uh, it will be a series of commands uh, it is like one kind of setup so it will take some time you don't need to bother you have to just you have to just uh, you have to just follow whether anything has been uh, uh, whether it is whether it is throwing any error or not most probably it will not going to throw any error uh, it will be installing it will it may it's usually take some time you don't need to be worry so it is just copying the framework to your uh, demo folder and uh, just wait yeah so as you can see it is copying a development in it is creating a development environment in your uh, demo project so yeah so I, I i'll i'll show you how whether the file has been copied to your uh, demo project so you can see this file has been copied and you can see slowly slowly the files development environment will be copying into your uh, demo folder and uh, slowly slowly it is copying what the things are required yeah yeah sometimes it takes time mostly it at the start of developing now it is it will be doing fast so i you know it is copying and uh, yeah yeah now i just close this window as uh, mostly it has been now um, yeah so uh, mostly just wait for some time just for way and end dialog it is mostly it will take one more one more two minutes the the most trickiest thing is just this only uh, you're uh, developing your framework uh, making your framework because you can also do the same thing using sdk only but uh, uh, that time that you can get stuck from somewhere because this making a framework is most important developing environment so so oh, okay so now we have we have uh, completed uh, completed with this uh, setting this developing a framework means we are done with the setup of developing framework so now we are good to go so as we can see we have not seen any error now we what we can do now we can create our uh, 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 local host now we will creating this command what it will do it will uh, it will uh, uh, first we'll go go to that folder and uh, what we'll do we'll uh, we'll launch a web server uh, web local server for that project so for for that we'll go to that uh, we'll go to that folder that demo folder and then we'll type this command that you have to see sencha app watch so that is creating a local server for this for this for your project so it will be creating a local server so now it is creating so uh, one thing that you need to uh, remember uh, that is a port it is saying so you just uh, just wait it will be showing uh, some port so what so as you can see it has configured this port number uh, 1841 so it has configured 1841 localhost port number for your for this localhost server so as you can see localhost 1841 you will type the, your application will be launched and uh, will be your application will be loaded so on that localhost port so that you need to remember 
so this is the most important thing that you need to do just uh, just to load your uh, application on your server now the next thing is uh, i i just have i just have to view this uh, project into our uh, any any sdk any uh, framework so uh, development framework so i just download a visual studio code so this is visual studio code i am just going for this ubuntu so mostly i am doing i am using this visual studio code just for viewing my code so just so visual studio code so I, again this i have already downloaded so you can easily download it the steps are so easy you can i'll share the description uh, link in the description you have to just download it and you have to just install it nothing no uh, there's no great uh, work for this it is a small steps so uh, so now what i am uh, what i'll uh, at the last that the no, most important that you have to notice fashion uh, this fashion waiting for the uh, waiting for the changes log that you need to see that is the last thing that is that you need to find ki whether it has been uh, once you see this uh, see this um, log then means your uh, localhost has been ready so if you we'll type just localhost 1841 so then you can see your default project has been loaded so yeah yeah now you can see your default project demo with this it has it has been loaded so successfully you have configured your uh, first project demo project and you are you are, uh, you are loaded your project through the localhost server so now it is showing yeah now the one more thing only remaining uh, that uh, i have to i i'm loading my project visual in a visual studio code so i have, I have already downloaded visual studio code that you now uh, but for your you can download it through the link i'll provide uh, in the description and uh, the only thing that i ca- that i have to do i have to load the, that project because uh, i need some framework where i can uh, i i can uh, work with my project so i i chose uh visual studio code so i just uh, right click on this open uh, uh i'm just planning to uh, open a terminal you know uh, yeah i'm opening a to- uh, instead of that i just uh, right click on the new tab in that same demo folder i'll just type code so once you type a code the visual studio uh, your uh, your project will be loaded in your visual studio code and you don't have to worry you have to just write code and the your project will be loaded into the visual studio code so now the project is loading give me some time yeah now it has been loaded yeah. that you can see your project has been loaded just give some time yeah yeah your project has been loaded and now you can see uh, these are the various files that you can uh, this is a file structure that i'll explain you in the next lecture how uh, how the role of this file are and how the things work how the flow works and uh, these are the different different files in under model section and uh, under view section now i'll explain you only the how we can uh, small modify small thing and uh, i will check whether the things are updating or not so i just modified the name of application to the my first demo application i'll just check whether the things are working or not whether i am working so i've just uh, uh, so what i'll do i'll just now the things will be change once i change the this will be ch- updating this my uh, development environment it is updating for the changes that i have made now what i'll do the changes has been done i'll load my browsers and i'll see what i i need the, yeah that changes will be reflecting so now the changes which i have done it has been loaded and we have successfully uh, modified our first project and the same has been reflected through the browser now we we have done we have done with the installation and uh, through comment section and subscribe my channel so you're fancy